we are going to IP in the news. So what is the IP in the news tonight? Well, can you just trademark any old word like even the word the? Yeah, you can. As a matter How is of that fact. even possible? Well, first of all, you have to be Ohio State because Ohio oh, okay. State trademarked the word the and they are notorious, by the way, for trademarking really kind of simple, stupid stuff. They were in IP in the news a while ago for trademarking the letter O. And it looks like they already trademarked now the letter the. So gradually they're working through the whole English language, Webster's so, Dictionary, and they're going to get every word they possibly can. Does that mean can. nobody can ever use the word the in a sentence or written or spoken again? You might think so, but the fact is, is you can't. Uh, trademarks are limited to special classifications. And so they only got the word the for use on apparel, sportswear, caps, those kinds of things. So it's a kind of a narrow usage range, I guess, for lack of a better word. But in fact, yeah, they, they, they can use it for, you know, t-shirts or whatever stuff they want. Well, I find that utterly ridiculous. So anyway, well, that is the, the tra trademark opinion. system, but there's, you know, it's not only just Ohio state, there was another company that also tried to uh, trademark the, uh, the word the and I just, it was Mark Jacobs, Mark Jacobs, and they had a little dispute going at the trademark offices <laughs> over who could <laughs> trademark the word the, yeah. and I guess they managed to work it out. So now they can both use the word the on as clothing. a trademark. I'm just on clothing. Though. I, I don't know what the exact nature of the oh. deal was, but so Ohio State's not the only one. Okay. Well, I think it's time for Richard's Roundtable. Oh, uh, I think it is. So, uh, Jason, welcome to the show. Uh, we we really look for me. We looking forward to hearing from you. Tell us though, uh, what are your thoughts on this whole trademarking the word the? <laughs> I, I got to stand on the it's it's business side. Is that there's a point at which trademark something that's special to you or special to your brand. When you start getting into first words that you've learned as a kid, it's starting to get a little bit far in one direction. <laughs> <laughs> you be sort of off the deep end. <laughs> well, I, I, I kind of wonder if you say like the end on a t-shirt, you're using the word the there. Does that mean that they get you to stop? get to stop you from doing that i just don't even see how they can enforce that there's so many t-shirts with slogans and names on them yeah i well that it would be difficult uh thanks jason Brittany. what are your thoughts on this um well i agree i don't think they'll really be able to enforce it too much but i personally think it's a lot of fun you know i'm a big <laughs> brand person and i always love the you know player lineup introductions in the nfl and the pride that the players have coming from the ohio state university so i'm i'm for it i think it's fun <laughs> okay well right i mean it's only a trademark right and they're not going to be able to stop people from saying the word the so <laughs> yeah. you know why not go with it Kenya, what are your thoughts? I find it interesting because you said they're trademarking it in the apparel like sector, right? So we think it's like niche, but like think of all the apparel companies that are out there or that could be up and coming who may want to use the word the in like a title or a catchphrase or a slogan. Like I think it's an interesting way to monopolize the market from a brand perspective. Because if you can limit the use of the, that's like pretty common word like you could use it in anything right but i think if you prohibit your competition from being able to use it it, it could make some um things a little sticky for other brands that are out there in the apparel space yeah mm -hmm. i i agree i i do think that they're going to have a hard time uh stopping people from using it in a phrase mm -hmm. that's, that's going to be difficult to enforce uh and if you want to have a brand called the why not? I mean, I, I kind of think it's a stupid brand myself, but maybe some people think maybe it's cool. So. Well, let's hear what Becca thinks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just really impressed because I went through the process of trademarking Naked Lady and that was incredibly difficult and it's an unusual name. Um, but, you know, I encountered challenges with some major corporations because it was similar to Naked, N-A-K-E-D. And so I would just be curious what 
what went on behind the scenes to get to the <laughs> point where they actually were awarded that. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, I didn't read through the whole file, but I'm sure it took a while for sure. Well, and um, well, I want to trademark a couple of words and have, so people can't <laughs> use them again. The first one is um. <laughs> and the how about you know? And the second is you know. How much trademark doesn't forbid anybody from using them? It might help everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think she makes a good point, right? I, certainly would help me. So uh, thank you for that. Um, so, you know, uh, um, it's time for our guests 